Plastic is everywhere, but how is it actually made? Have you ever wondered about the journey from raw materials to the plastic objects we use daily? Let's dive deeper into this fascinating process. Let's break it down in 60 seconds. Ready? Here we go. It starts with crude oil or natural gas extracted from deep within the earth. A process that involves drilling and pumping. This raw material is then transported to refineries, where it undergoes a series of complex processes to extract essential chemicals like ethylene and propylene. These are the building blocks of plastic. These chemicals go through a process called polymerization, a chemical reaction that links tiny molecules into long chains. This creates a strong and versatile material, forming the backbone of what we know as plastic. The result of this process is small plastic pellets which are the raw form of plastic. Factories then melt these pellets down and mold them into various shapes and forms, from bottles and containers to car parts and toys. This is where mass production begins. The process is fast, cheap, and produces durable items, which is why plastic is so ubiquitous in our daily lives. But there's a downside. Here's the catch. Most plastic isn't biodegradable and can harm our environment, leading to pollution and waste management issues. That's why recycling and reducing waste matter. Every little bit helps in mitigating the environmental impact. Now you know how plastic is made, from oil to object in just 60 seconds. It's a journey of transformation and innovation. What should we explain next? Drop a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts.